We're here in the condo of Dick and Joanne, or maybe I should say it's Joanne and Dick's condo because we're in the kitchen. And today, a friend of mine, Robert, is painting a mural on the hood of the range, the, the, fan, the fan vent range hood. So let's take a look at what Robert's doing and uh, see how he's enhancing this kitchen. Robert, I see that you've gone from the sketch stage that where you were at yesterday. And well, let, let, let's let you tell us. Tell us some more about the process and what you're doing and uh, how you're having fun expressing your artistic creative talents. Joanne wanted a geometric design, something kind of wrought iron. I'm looking to pull the color into the chandelier. If it had been a little more asymmetrical, I would have just done it, just drawn it. Mm -hmm. But because it has to have balance, I laid it in um, linearly first. Then this is an oil glaze underneath, so I did an oil primer that I tinted just as a basic background color because what I'm working with now, the metallics, are latex, and I'm afraid they would lift on the oil. So this way, with it being primer, I can play and shade and work my metallics into it. How many colors do you think you'll have by the time you get done? It should be relatively monochromatic because it's just supposed to be like wrought iron. So it's probably going to be the, the umber tones for shadows, a little bit of the green touch, maybe a little bit more reddish to it because the light fixture has more of that. There's something special about her kitchen that I'd like to show you. Joanne's an interior designer, and the two of us worked together very nicely on this house. But there were many features where she said, well, Jimmy, she calls me Jimmy, because I mean, some people call me James, but she calls me Jimmy, because she's known me for a long time. She said, well, Jimmy, let's do something with, special with these cabinets. So I'd like Joanne to show you what we did special with her upper cabinets here. What the, the look that I was going for was a European look. Not quite country, but a, a, a quaint old look. And so obviously the stained glass or the, or the leaded glass windows were perfect. This is really for me more beauty. It is more aesthetic than function. If you are not prepared to do that or to always keep this neat and clean, I would strongly suggest you don't use a stained glass or possibly half, just do the upper portion. But to me, it was very important not to have wood all the way around. Um, it's just been a fun project. Jim's done a great job and I've enjoyed everything about it. The rest of the kitchen has so much storage that believe it or not, I don't even miss these. I have some cabinets that I don't even have stuff in. But for me, it was an aesthetic touch. Um, I love I love the look of the seated glass the, I do and too. the letting, the diamond design that was conceived. Uh, actually, collaboration between the cabinet designer, yourself, myself. Uh, it's just the right touch, and just that little bit of translucency through to see the china within. And there is a Good local touch. craftsman in town, which was perfect, mm -hmm. because Dick and I actually went out to pick the, the level of density of the glass and the what I mean, and it's fabulous, because this is hand done. The other way, sometimes they'll just put like stick them tape on and that. Yeah. We, we wanted to do it yeah, right. Yeah. Do it the right so way. So this really is very, very beautiful.